Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. On tonight's episode, we're gonna get into some more miscellaneous inventory. First, jump on over to nobodyshow.com. We're gonna put some really cool inventory stuff up on there, so check that out. Hey everybody, I'm Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. We deal in classic and special interest cars and parts. We have over 1,100 classic cars in our salvage yard, and that's what we do and that's what we love. Thanks for coming by Nobody Show. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new, we're glad to have you here. And this is going to be the show for gearheads. We're gonna talk about hot rods, muscle cars, customs, classics, trucks, cab overs. We may even get into some of the newer stuff into the 70s and 80s. We're also gonna talk about gas pumps, signs, oil cans, toys, all types of automotive memorabilia. Because here at Nobody Show, this is your show. We're gonna be on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at seven o'clock. Don't miss it. Now let's get into tonight's episode. Hey everybody, Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Tonight we're gonna to walk around just kind of some miscellaneous inventory. I've got kind of a corner up here in the front part of the yard where stuff gets shuffled in and out. Some new inventory gets just put there until I get a hole made for it. So it's kind of some miscellaneous stuff, kind of a mismatch, patchwork type thing. So we're talking about half a dozen cars here that aren't related to each other at all. So let's get to a quick walk around on those. First one here, 1956 Pontiac two-door sedan. Pretty solid little car, a little rust in the floors. Um, a lot of good pieces. One really interesting thing about this car, factory stick. Original factory tra manual transmission. Pontiac V8, manual transmission. Don't see that very often on a Pontiac. This car's got it all in there. Come around the other side of this 56 Pontiac. We've got a 77 Trans Am. These cars have gone crazy. These, uh, these second generation Trans Ams have gone through the roof. They're cool cars, obviously Smokey and the Bandit did not hurt these cars a bit. Uh, these cars are super popular, and I myself am a huge fan of them. I've got a gorgeous, and we'll get to it in one of these episodes, I've got a gorgeous 78 Martinique blue car. That's a one owner low mileage car. We'll get that in one of those episodes. So big fan of Trans Ams. This car needs some love, but in all honesty, in today's world, this is probably still a buildable car, and we've probably got most of the pieces to put it together. So cool car. In front of the Trans Am, we've got a Ford LTD station wagon. Another movie reference. This is very similar to the car that they built for vacation with Chevy Chase. Only this has one set of headlights instead of two stacked headlights. But uh, hey, if somebody did want to make a family truckster clone, this is a solid, complete, good old body that would make somebody a great family truckster. If you wanted to uh, get you some stick on wood sides and a little bit of pea green paint, you can make yourself a family truckster out of that unit. Next to the uh, family truckster potential, Gremlin X. The old Gremlins are getting really tough to find. Cool car, this car's rough, it's been sitting for a long time, but it is a pretty much an intact Gremlin X. This is my daughter, she's laid claim to it, so she loves Grammys, so that's kind of one of hers. Next to the Gremlin, we've got a 64 Ford custom two-door sedan. Uh, this was about as basic as it got in 1964 for Ford. This car's pretty tough. I got this out of a scrap yard, so they banged it up a little bit before I got a hold of it. But uh, being a two-door, I still wanted to bring it in and save it. The weird part about it is three months ago, I got the exact same thing in. I've got a twin to this car that came in three months before this one. White, blue interior, custom two-door post, six-cylinder, three-speed. So basically almost kind of like a fleet type car nothing fancy as plain as they got but uh it's just weird to get two cars in in three months that are twins literally twins so back behind the 64 ford we've got a 1958 edsel two-door hardtop no motor in this car but uh still a lot of good pieces solid old body Good sheet metal, lots of good trim. His old Edsel stuff's getting is really tough to find, so a lot of good hard to find two-door hardtop pieces on this car. Next to the Edsel, we got a little 53 Plymouth, just a basic four-door, you know, not a real exciting car, but not a lot of these out there. The guys that are doing 53 Plymouths, there's not a lot of pieces out there for them. They don't reproduce hardly anything for these cars. So even though it's not real exciting, we keep this stuff around because somebody's gonna need some of this stuff one of these days. Last one we'll catch on this episode in this group right here, 1948 Pontiac Silver Streak, the fastback design, commonly known as a fleet line if you're a Chevy guy. Really cool sloping back, no front clip on this car. I got a front clip with it, but it didn't. it's not on the car. We've got it sitting over next to the building. 
But these were a great design. This car's rough, it's been sitting for a lot of years, but the design of this, this fastback design on these cars is so cool. It's iconic of the late 40s, and these things really stand out, and they make really cool looking cars when they're restored. So, like I said, it's kind of a mismatch of, uh, on tonight's episode, but uh, it's all cool stuff. We hope you guys like it. So we wanted to go ahead and bring it to you. And now, coming up, uh, first part of August, something to watch for if you guys are interested in what I do, and this has all come from your feedback, the people that are asking questions on lives and the feedback we're getting from, from doing Nobody's Show is how do I do this? How do I find inventory? How do I buy inventory? How do you store it, haul it, process it, market it, ship it? All those different aspects. There's tons of different aspects to what I do to make this my career. When I'm out here in my office, I don't sit in a, in a mob cubicle. This is my office, my shops are where I work. So we're putting it together a training seminar talking about what I do. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna talk about all those different segments. I've got a whole bunch of notes put together, breaking this all down from how I buy a part to when I ship that thing out to somebody. So that's coming up sometime first part of August. We're getting the details hammered out on it now, getting the thing tuned in, fine tuned, and it's going to be a live seminar. It's probably gonna be fairly lengthy. I would imagine it could take several hours because there's a lot of different aspects. But the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do it live so you guys are on with us. We want your feedback while we're doing it. If you have questions, we want you to ask. That's how we're gonna build this course is with your help. You're the guys that are asking us to do it. I don't remember everything because a lot of this is second nature to me. So your guys' feedback and questions is what's gonna help make this course work great for everybody that looks at it and wants to use it. So keep your eyes peeled for that coming up the first part of August. Some new inventory stuff coming up on the nobodyshow.com page. So watch for cool stuff coming there. Thanks for being here with us. We hope you enjoyed it. We're glad you're here with us.